Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast. I have a bit of a plan for today. Um, this was actually going to be a multiplayer, something that was going to pop up in the multiplayer, but I'm going to wait until after this weekend to do that because for several reasons I'm sort of unable to put anything up in spawn at the moment in the world and this was really going to be sort of a... anyway, I'd better tell you the idea. What I'm doing is creating Direwolf 20's uh, mining system. Now some of you may be thinking, hey wait a second, that doesn't work on um, 1.4.7? And you'd be right, I actually tested it out with Tesseract and found out the hard way. Yikes. However, there is a configuration that um, was tested out by somebody, can't remember the name off the top of my head, I'm so sorry for this, but they commented in the YouTube uh, in the YouTubes, in Direwolf 20's YouTube comments uh, about the correct setup. So, let's get to... I don't know why I've got this pickaxe on me. Let's go ahead and start setting that up. I think I've got all the equipment that I need um, for now. Um, yep, chest with coal in. Um, just smelted up some charcoal from wood and some coal that I had left in my inventory. Yep. And also, I have all the turtles I need I think. Wireless engineering turtle, gate reader engineering turtle, um, mining turtles and trunk loaders. Perfect! So what I need to do first is quickly, and I forgot the glove. Uh, is it in my bag? That would help. Nope it's not in the bag. It's probably in here. Let's go for glove tool. Ah oh, no, which one is it? <laughs> That's the one. Now let's grab you and also a wrench. I will need a wrench. Uh, Omni wrench. Omni wrench will do. Thank you very much. Now let's zoom down here and let's get this thing set up. So, first things first, I need a bit of a tesseract. Not a tesseract, what the hell am I on about? I need a redstone energy cell set up, uh, attached. I'm debating about whether... no, I want it here. There we go. And I will need a gate reader turtle set up here. And an ender chest... do I have an ender chest? Here. And I want that set up to its own band. Uh, at the moment it's all set up to coal because I tested this out and realised I did it completely wrong. So here we go, let's just put that there, and then I need an ender chest here, and I will need to recolor that uh, in just a sec. Let's recolor that, uh, I don't know, what do we have? What colours can I colour this? Dye. Nope, um, green, do we have cactus green? We do have cactus green, I knew we had a colour somewhere. So let's recolor this green. Um, that one. There we go. Now what this system should do is, as soon as this charges up, which may take a while, drawing power from that, um, what this system will do is basically swap around these two redstone energy cells and power the whole system. So basically, rather than having a um, in the Direwolf 20 system, uh, basically a Tesseract powers whole mining system, in this, to set that, we're going to have Resident Energy Swell swapped over through an Ender's Chest by the Turtles. Thankfully, so yeah, this should work, in theory. Now let's just get one more of you and put you green as well when I put the thing away, didn't I? <laughs> Um, cactus. So let's just put your middle one green. Ah, uh, yep. Perfect. You're attached to that, right? Yes, you are. So let's grab you. And head over to where I want my mine. And also get out of cheating mode. Keep on getting into this to delete items from my inventory because it has got a bit too full. Um, even though I did 
make one or two edits to it, you know. Um, I added several... what do you call it? I don't even know what I'm saying now. I added some stuff to it. Okay. Not, you know, in the video... Oh, what the hell? I don't eat what? Hmm. I have no idea what I was trying to say then. Oh well. Um... No, but I kind of know that I, what I wanted to say, but I can't actually figure out the words to say. You ever get that when you just have a complete brain fart? I've run out of inventory space because I didn't create enough hard drives, and that's it. That's the end of the whole story. That's what I've been trying to say. Bloody hell. Anyway, let's get this system set up before I drive everyone insane. Um, so let's just get as high as I can and then place a wireless engineering turtle just here bullseye and then some of my wireless turtles that's not wireless you're not wireless where are my wireless turtles oh good god okay I think I've missed something back to spawn right now I have the right that. turtles let's set this up so I need in here to be a redstone energy cell and a redstone energy conduit and then next to it I need some wireless mining turtles so let's just set you guys up um, just print this off two three four five now actually I don't want all these set up quite yet so let's just take you back because if I set them all up now then there's gonna I'm gonna hit a problem because I don't have enough stuff for them. So here we go. Let's put you in there. You in there. Oh, other way around, my bad. And then a ender chest for fuel in that one. And that ender chest there. And I think I have forgotten an ender chest. I have indeed forgotten an ender chest. So let's just chunk like this so I don't get random lumps. Um, oh, by the way, um, just if you're wondering where I'm getting all these eyes of end ender eyes and blaze rods from, while the blaze rods, I'll admit, are a tiny bit cheaty, um, let's, uh, the ender eyes are from the end, I managed to kill the dragon. Uh, I was going to make that my video, but I uh, realised that I actually had a, my fist weapon didn't work properly, so it was basically hitting a dragon to death. So unless you wanted an hour of me hitting it, hitting an ender dragon with my fists whilst taking no damage whatsoever because I had kick-ass armour, um, you know, feel free to go back and watch it. But no, I can just head to the end now for any little ender eyes and irons and stuff, so it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm back and I hopefully have all the materials I, have, I should have now. Right. In the background, I have set up a redstone receiving cell and uh, basically a turtle that swaps around the uh, redstone energy conduit in here whenever it detects it's empty. So I have set that up and got the code running for that. Uh, it was pretty easy considering someone else has already done it. So in this one, I need to set up a ender chest which will receive the, uh, em the empty conduits to transfer it to the other uh, turtle which will then put it in place. I then need a redstone energy conduit, a mining well, and something that I had to go back for which is an ender chest to collect all the goodies from when it's mined everything up. So I then need to paste bin in some code, um, but actually first I need to also set up a mining turtle. Hello ambulance or police car, I need to set up a mining turtle here and here. Now I've checked these are within the same chunk so oops let's just grab uh, doo -doo, you there and another one there and another one there then delete you Mr. Block replace you with another wireless binding turtle. There we go. Yes, I am using pretty junky blocks for these. This is just like literally framework. And if I dash F8 uh, twice, you should see this should all fit within one block. Perfect. Um, it's not quite where I thought it was because I thought it was here. 
could have sworn I built it here, but I'm um, yeah, that's why I've got it facing the wrong way. Uh well. No biggie. <laughs> I'll just bump the uh um, yeah, that, that that should work actually. So in these things, I need to place uh, one chunk loader each, and also a uh, refueling chest, which are these things. Blue, not quite sure which order. I'm sure we'll find out soon which order it's supposed to be. Whoa, mega zoom out. So right now, everything's set up correctly, I believe. Um, that's there. That's there. Um, if anything that would prefer it to be that way, but it doesn't matter which end I have it on. I'm about to find out. Also, I don't think it does. Um, so one ender chest, one mining wireless mining turtle, wireless mining turtle. Where are you? Wireless, there you are. And then it was... Right, which one's the fuel chest? It's so hard to see. That's a fuel chest. That's the item chest. That's the uh, refueling chest. That's up there. Then it's a mining well and a redstone energy conduit. So, now I just need to paste bin in some of the code that I found online. So, I will just quickly do that and be back as soon as I have. Okay, so I've paste binned all in all the code, and in theory, this should. Why are you. Ru okay, it's running already. What the hell? I did not ask you to run. Okay, it, it, it works. It's. What? Why, why, why have you not dismantled everything? It almost works. Why? What? I didn't tell you to reboot. That's, that's the odd thing. What? Okay, let's. Right, let's just clean everything up quickly because something weird's happened here. So I will be back in a sec. Okay, I think the problem there was that the uh, one of my turtles was one of the chests in the turtle was in the wrong place. So is that to the left of it? Yes, it is. So let's try running the new once more. So let's go mine two. In theory, this should work. What's the program then? Mine. Right, okay. Edit start up. What did I name you? Start, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Forgot what I named it. Control save. Control exit. Mine. <coughs> I've just done that again. Start. Engage. So it's checking the redstone cube, seeing, uh, sending it into the ender tank, the other things comparing it to see which one's better. And that's set up. Why Why have you set that up? Oh, bloody hell, I put those in the wrong order. Okay, I'll wait for you to clear up because you're gonna be. Okay. <sighs> oh, damn it. Oh, brilliant. So all I need to do now is just quickly switch these two around. And I should have, in complete theory, a fully functional mining system. So, let's just click get you to start. So, it's checking the, few, checking the uh, energy level, seeing if it's high enough. And if it, you know, if one's higher than the other, then it will swap them around. It's now set the thing up, mining down. Mining that turtle's now mining all the goodies. If you can see here, that's quite a lot of goods. Only quite a lot of cobble as well. <laughs> so once it's finished mining all that up, it should in a couple of seconds. Yep, start shoving it in the ender chest. And now it's just realised there's nothing left in the inventory, so it's moving forwards. Awesome. This thing works. So, what's that ender chest? It's red, white, and black. So I need a red, white, and black ender chest in my base, and 
yeah, I'll be able to, I'll just quickly set up a sorting system. Okay, so that, that bloody hell. If I put my ender chest here, now this is the ender chest that should be receiving everything, yep, then I need, oops. Oh, for God's sake, no! You bloody wood golem, I need to move you. You're putting everything in the bloody wrong place. Sending everything over to my... That column is my... Uh, yep. There's that. And there's the skeleton. Bye-bye, skeleton. Where's the ender chest got? Oh, there it is. Thankfully managed to save it. Bloody golems. Um, so actually I need some, uh, oops. I need some of the equipment for my old mine, so let's just go ahead and grab some. Load. Oh yeah, we don't have a chunk loader, so it takes a bit of a while now. Um, so I need to grab some of this stuff. Some of you, you and you. Because rather than sort everything, you know, one end, I'm going to sort it this end. So, I need a... Uh, for the very basics, let's have an ender chest... Uh, let's put the ender chest there. Then, uh, two wooden transport pipes going out either side. Nope, going out there, there. And very basically, diamond pipe there. I said, I said, oh for God, no! I'm calling you Joffrey, and not because I've been reading Game of Thrones recently. <laughs> Wand. Joffrey, get lost. Managed to revive that, thankfully. And then what next? Where was I? Oh yes. Altartic gate there, Altartic gate there. Diamond pipe there. And next door neighbour has bloody Skype on, which is annoying. Not Skype, Facebook messages coming in all the time. Oh well. I think it's my next door neighbour, it's a bit weird. Oh well. Okay, so I need to put that's in slightly the wrong place, bugger. Aha. No Do you say you got everything there? No, there's a golem the other side picking everything up. Great. I hate golems, but they're so useful, so I kinda need to put them somewhere completely out of the way. There they are. Set it up right this time. <laughs> and also get this stuff out because it's just clogging up the system. Do -do. And bye bye bones. Okay, so I need a wooden transport pipe here. Altartic gate here. And then a diamond pipe here. With a filter on it. Actually, I really want the diamond pipe to go down there, but I won't. Is there any way to do... Yeah, there is. Sorry. Not at all, just sort of making up this sort of system as I go. Um, it's this chest, is it? Nope, it's this chest. So, chest there. Pick up you guys without the column picking it up, hopefully. And then... Boom. Needs to be wooden transport pipe, wooden transport pipe, diamond... 
hole in the wall to avoid pipe. Altartic gate, altartic gate. And then going down, I need a transport pipe. In fact, I need two transport pipes. Three. Maybe four. Okay, let's just go with what I've got. Okay. So I need to filter out certain things. I want um, any cobblestone. Oops. I want one to go that way. Um, one to go into there. And. want to go into there. So what I want to do now is quickly set up the filters. Uh, so I want any cobblestone to be voided. So voids go into the blue pipe. So any dirt will be voided, any cobblestone will be voided, and any sand will be voided. I have cobblestone, and I don't have any sand or gravel on me, so I'll probably have to wait for that. So, and any coal I want to go into the blue chest, that will lead that leads in theory um, to my well, let's just check this. So only that. That's not accepting. So only that is a valid export route. One sec, that needs to be iron as well. Okay. Well, wait a sec. Two iron and a glass. Don't know why I had to. <laughs> Two iron and a glass. Eight more transport pipes. That needs to be an iron pipe. Because then, if I use my wrench, it will only go down there. And then. That will only go that way. So at the moment, oh, that also needs to be iron. Okay. So this is basically going to be a mess of iron pipes, saying which way goes which. At the moment, I want any maceratable ores to go down into there. I want any smeltables to go straight into there, and any coal to go zoom into there. In fact, I can probably make that a bit more streamlined by just doing this. Well, a bit more not streamlined, but, you know, teasing on the eye by doing this with a lot more iron pipes. So, any iron goes that way. Do -do. Do -do. Straight down. And the system should work. So, let's just get some more uh, let's just get this thing mining for a bit. And I will, you know, once I've got some more materials, I should be able to do set up this mining system. Ah, there we go, it's already started sorting. Brilliant. In fact, if I send the wood to go down the green pipe, that would be awesome. Because then it would smelt it up, and then go straight into that chest. Which is the fuel chest, in theory. Oh yeah, I need the yellow pipe to also be something that will never possibly go in it. So a wand. I won't put a wand in the system. Not the green pipe, the yellow pipe. So... Okay, why did you go back? Um, so... Green is anything. Um, black is any ores. And but for now, I'll just lock these off. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly set the uh, thing to go running for a little bit, and we'll be back in a bit as soon as I've got some more awesome goodies. Now, the brilliant thing is, if I put a number, say 20, it will cycle the whole system 20 times, which is awesome. It means that I don't have to worry about this, and because of the chunk loaders, 
I just bugger back off to my base and find it 20 blocks further on. I can also expand it with more wireless turtles and more mining wells, which I will do just as soon as, you know, I have enough resources. It should be pretty soon if this system works as intended, which it looks like it does. Sweet. Okay, this is very temporary as a setup, just so, because it cannot handle the amount of stuff that uh, is going into it. I mean, if you look right now, it's actually just building up on sheer amounts of cobblestone. So I really need a system that will remove stacks at a time and sort insane amounts, because I'm also struggling on outports on this filter. So, yeah. Um, next episode, once I, sh once I hopefully have enough of the materials, um, I will be able to uh, yeah, link this up to my MFSU system, ME system even, and be able to sort it that way. But up until now, up until then, I will just shove a uh, metal chest in, not metal chest, a uh, diamond thingy in front of it, and that should hold the excess. So, um, yeah, it'll go, where should I put it? Right there. Just temporary stopgap measure. And now in complete theory, this should, um, whilst the chest won't uh, hold everything, the system should stop as soon as it has enough. Why are the sticks there? Who cares, I've got an emerald. Woohoo, emerald. So yeah, I'm going to let this mining system run and I will see you next episode when hopefully I have enough stuff. To fill anything so yeah thanks for watching this episode and goodbye um, I'll hopefully set this up on the Arisecraft server um, just as soon as the whole spawn situation is sorted out uh, for those of you who don't know there has been a big situation at spawn uh, I think Aronax is that if that's how you say the name uh, has actually released a video because his base was yeah, basically, it was destroyed. It wasn't good. And, um, anyway, uh, I'll put a link to his video in the description. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next episode. So, subscribe! I mean, what is the worst that can happen if you press that button above your head? The YouTube explodes. That's the worst that can happen. But that's not really that bad. We can, you know, create... There'd be a big gap in the market for a rival YouTube, so... You know, subscribe, and if it worst comes to the worst, we make our own YouTube, you and me, together. YouTube!